okay so here's a quick tutorial I'm gonna be doing on editing vocals in cool edit pro real quick um, I'll probably do a more in-depth tutorial later on down the line first you got your lead vocal and this is for editing them in edit view as you can see I got this done right here over here in the multi-track view but okay let's get to editing this zoom in a little bit so you can see I mean, I would suggest doing noise reduction, but a lot of people do it when they use a Cool Edit Pro. I mean, it degrades the quality, but I'll do it here. Go to noise reduction. Click this button, get profile from selection. Click OK. So we're just going to zoom out, un undo it, then zoom out, double click noise reduction, click OK. Any remaining noise here. Just right click, go to silence, and you do that throughout here, like here and here. Okay, select the region on your vocal. Now, everything varies depending on the song, but I'm just going to give you an idea of what you can work with. Filters, FTT filter. I click on kill the mic rumble. I take this back to 80 hertz because it's 80 hertz basically doing a high pass. Uh, this is basically doing a high pass at 80 hertz, so I just do that and click OK. Okay, now I usually go to Graphic Equalizer, and I click on 10 bands, and I bring this down to negative 18 at 31, negative 18 at 63, negative 1.6 at 125, and negative 1.6 at 250, and I leave the rest the same. Click OK. Okay, now I'll do Parametric Equalizer. I bring this down to 1 hertz right here, and I bring it down to negative 16. Then I go down here. And I just typed in 10,000. And I just put a 4. What that's going to do is going to bring, you know, some sparkle to the high end. For the, um, make the S's pop out more and it'll sound more clean and nice. Our family is losing this life. Somebody tell me what we're fighting. Okay. Now, okay, you can go ahead and add your delay effects like reverb, chorus, you know, echo. But let's go to reverb real quick because I usually do that before echo. I just click on usually tight and close. Click OK because it sounds OK like it is. But you can mess with the settings to get the sound you're looking for. Go to echo. Listen to it. Our family is losing this life. Somebody tell me what we're fighting for. Fighting for. Fighting for. Mama's crying like every day. How come we just can't love so much hate between us? She took our family away. There's no brighter day, but there'll be a brighter day if we pray. One night, nice Sunday morning, hey, we'll always. Our family is losing this life. Somebody tell me what we're fighting for. Fighting for, fighting for. Okay, I was having a lot of problems here, but do this. Usually, this is what I usually do, and I'll turn it up to maybe about 10. Click OK. There's a little echo on it. Mama. Okay, then I select this. And a lot of people say go to normalize. Normalize it. Too loud, so. Our family is losing this life. Somebody tell me what we're fighting for. Fighting for. Fighting for. Mama's crying. And it may be a little bit too much reverb, so let's go back. Undo the reverb. Go back down to the reverb. And we'll click. We'll leave it at 13%. Click OK. Go back to the echo. Okay, we'll turn this down to about 7%. Bring it down to about 700. Click OK. And I click on mid-tone followings and just do it from there on the echo. Our family is losing this life. Okay, now what I usually do then. Our family is. Now, I'd be listening in with the beat to mix it in. And I use this to bring it up or down. Our family is losing this life. Somebody tell me what we're fighting for. And you never fighting pan for, lead vocals usually. For. Mama's crying like every Okay, so there's the lead vocal of the hook. Now, you would do the same thing for your vocals for the left and right. Because when you want to do rap vocals or for the hook or singing vocals for the hook, you got your one main lead vocal right here. And then usually you want to record one for the left and one for the right. Well, that's what I did for singing. I recorded the harmony for the left and harmony for the right. Let's listen to that. Our family is losing this life. Somebody tell me what we're fighting for. And you want to just listen to it with the instrumental and mix it in. But as you can see, I'll click this and I got the same effects going on. Done Dynamics processing. I usually click from very fast attack and go from there. And here's the settings. Pause the video if you want. Then I go to graphic equalizer. Do those right there. Parametric equalizer. Okay, this at 10,000 hertz. I usually do a four on that. Um, four decibels of gain. 
Then I go to reverb, tighten close. I had 35 here for the harmonies. Or the background vocals. Then I put an echo on there. But then here's the thing with background vocals for any type of thing. I mean, you usually want to pan them out because you want this to be in the center. It'll be the main one in the center. So I turned them down from here by 7 decibels and panned it by 66 to the left, 66 to the right. And if you just heard, that was my brother because it's storming very bad and the power just went out. Um, But I'm recording this on a laptop, so. And that's how you usually mix vocals and cool edit. Um, if this didn't help you, just let me know and tell me what I did wrong. And I'll just try to, you know, get to you when I can and do a tutorial on it. But then you want to select it. By selecting here, then you go down and select all the vocals you want. Right click. You can click. Mix down to file. I know I may be talking too much. And this is a song by Ray Lavender called Hug. I decided to redo it. I'm working on an instrumental right now, but I just wanted to make sure I could put the flow down on it. But here is here it is. Not all the way mixed, but with those settings I just described. Our family is losing this life. Somebody tell me what we're fighting for, fighting for, fighting for. Mama's crying like every day. Now, if you want me to do a tutorial on auto tune settings for this or any other settings for you know any song, I can get them for you. Just hit me up on here. Let's do a quick recap. Okay, first, you know, what I'm saying I selected this part. Okay, went all the way down to noise reduction. Click get noise profile. Then I clicked OK. Double click the whole thing. Noise reduction. Clicked OK. Selected the silent parts. Click silence. You might want to do that just instead of doing a noise reduction. OK. Click silence. Selected my region. And you would go through and do this for each individual vocal. Uh, go to FTT filter. Click on kill the mic rumble. Make sure it's still in a straight line. Bring it back to 80. Click OK. That's the high pass filter, which is some of the low frequency stuff, so it won't be really messing with the compressor. Dynamics processing. After that, click on very fast attack. Um, I usually change this to 5 for the attack time. I click on peak compression. Uh, for, I leave it at 4 to 1 ratio because that's hard compression for vocals. Usually you want to put your threshold at about, I do about negative 20. How hot you record, you usually want to keep that around negative 12, but I did it lower here. Click OK. Now it's also going to bring it up depending on your input, your output gain here. So let's turn it, pressing it and turning it up. So OK on that again. Um, Just do that once. OK, then you usually want to go down to filters again. Go to graphic equalizer, copy these settings here. First you click on 10 band. Then this one is 31 hertz down to 18, 63 hertz down to negative 18, 125 down 1.6 decibels, and 250 down 1.17 decibels. Um, and then I do that and just click OK. You don't gotta use these exact settings. Just I'm just trying to give you guys an idea. Okay, and I use this. I put this down to 1 hertz. I bring it down to like negative 18 or 16. Um, it gets rid of some of the low rumble. I use this. I just type in. 10,000 at 10,000 hertz add some sparkle or some air to the top of the vocal I usually raise it up about four decibels um you can go a little higher but I wouldn't suggest it and I click OK um after you do that you usually want to go to your reverb you gotta put reverb tight and close that's what I click on I bring that down to about 13 about 13 percent click OK a lot of people say normalize but I don't normalize then I usually do the echo I click on mid-tone following click echo bounce I bring some of these up just experiment with that to get the sound you're looking for echo level down click OK OK now that's done now to turn it up from here you could easily just click amplify listen Our family is losing this life turn it up. somebody tell me what or turn it down for. sorry about that if it got too loud but I think I had turned it up six decibels over there our family is losing this life okay now before I forgot to go over one thing okay if after you do the parametric equalizer it sounds like the S's are like very bad go in here and you want to click DS light usually DS medium maybe but DS light will work that'll be about all then when you're back in multi-track view make sure you pan your background vocals um usually want to dub them that's what I did here um as I said if I didn't answer all your questions on editing vocals in here I would do a more in-depth tutorial It'll probably have to be split up in more than one section but uh just hit me up if I did anything wrong and I'll redo it that if you need any auto-tune settings hit me up I can get them uh that'll be all G big out